in the month of January, as the multitudes gathered to hear the voice of the Lord for the year 2023, the Lord, through his apostle David Ponyani, spoke and coined the year, the year of the glory this is of God. 25 November 2022. The Lord said there will be judgment this incoming year on the unfaithful and there will be a great reward for the faithful. There will be a great move of God in churches. Churches that are aligned with the Spirit of God. Parents draw your children towards you in a way you have never done before. There will be a great danger trouble towards them because of the great blessing in them, their star. Lucifer wants to snatch their star. Arrest the situation. Youth. The rest is for me to pray for. This is the year of the glory of God. Say so thank you Lord for positioning us. For revival. Thank you Lord for positioning us. In preparation for the great move of God that was to take place, Apostle David Bonyane would gather women from the church every last Friday of the month to pray for the revival that was to take place. In the month of February, deeming his career over as he could not run for two years after tearing his ligaments, Mr. Jafter then underwent an operation without instruments during the prayer line where he met the great physician, Jesus Christ, and was instantly you? healed. How are you? You are from the theater. Take it easy. Take yourself now. Take God yourself. Girl, look at take him moving. He is free. He's healed in Jesus' name. Take yourself. Take yourself. You make it to do what? I make it to drink. I make it to smoke. She goes out with boys. Prophetic words spoken by the man of God during the crossover service concerning the youth were nothing short of the truth as the month of February marked the genesis of the fulfillment of the prophecy. I found uh, crystal drugs in, in the house and I asked her. She claims that those drugs are her brother's, not hers. As I tell her, hey, I'm not your mother. Why are you, when I ask you, you touch her, you touch her. What do you want to see? Then of God, please pray for me. I would like to be closer to God because I, I backslided and I did so many things and I would like to confess I'm not proud of it. I don't know to, what is happening today. Youth, 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 youth. So you are free. Rise up. These boys, they play, they play with your private part. I'm telling you, I'm not asking you. Satan has many ways of dealing with this. How to enter you to do rubbish. You will see from now, after this deliverance, you are free now. You will not experience the bad smell from your private part from now. Are you listening? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Receive the Spirit of God. Amen. Receive the Spirit of God. Amen. Spirit man! Amen. Mm, look at the gentleman. Look at them. This is spirit of masturbation. Yes, I confirm it to be 100% true. For me to get sleep, I would do it. I would find myself doing it more than four times sometimes before I sleep. And when I wake up also, I'll find myself doing it around that number. And then I would wake up and start my day. So after prayer now, you put yourself right. Are you listening? No Masturbation does not just come like that. What we give our attention to is what leads to us with masturbating. If I pray for you now, the masturbation will stop. You cannot go home and begin to be on social media, watch wrong things. What do, then my, you are destroying the prayer I'm doing here. Are you listening? Mm, so please, it's not about praying for you to stop playing with your private part. It's about you stopping your bad habit. So, how often do you masturbate? Huh? Every night. Huh? Every night. Huh? Every night. 
after every night you masturbate. Yes. So after that, what happens? How do you feel? I, I feel pain. Huh? I feel pain and I feel tired. I you feel tired. very tired or feel pain? Yes, you feel pain to... where? My, my testicles. The other one in the job by doing TV. So another testicles has been removed. Yes. So after this now, you will be free from this negative appetite. Much saw the construction of the sewer channels in preparation of the renovations in the guest house and the new state of art ablation facilities. In the month of April, in commemoration of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, a Easter service like no other. When you take the bread, you say, this is the symbol of your body, which was crucified for me on the cross. You eat in the name of Jesus. You take the wine. You say, Lord, this wine is a symbol of your blood, which was poured down on the cross for the removal of my sin. In the name of Jesus, you drink it. In Jesus' name, you go and sit down and continue to be in the attitude of prayer. Hallelujah. You're not surprised when you are sitting there, suddenly you see vision. You fall into trance. Are you listening? This is what we call spiritual feast. May. In celebration of the life and legacy of Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, blessed memory. It seems like a dream since the passing of our father into glory. Among many things, one of the best memorable and unforgettable moments is his correction, his advice in ministry, in personal life. Prophet T.B. Joshua taught me how to pray how to fast, how to hear God, and how to position myself. What a father, what a mentor. Yes, I would love to take this opportunity to say thank you, Jesus, for the life of your servant, Prophet TV Joshua. In June, the septic tank was finally completed. The women continued to meet every last Friday of the month and the man of God would join them and he would share the word of God and pray along with them as we know that God Almighty does not answer a prayer without a miracle. Signs and wonders would take place. In the month of July, in addressing one of the common challenges of mankind, which is being too quick to trust, the man of God shared a message from the throne of heaven we should love everyone, but trust no one. Many were amazed to hear that they should trust no one, not even themselves. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. No, trust your neighbor as yourself. Even yourself, don't trust yourself. The month of August saw us celebrate one of the youth who had received a sponsorship of more than half a million rand from the David Bonyane Foundation. Itumeleng Mohorosi finally obtained his commercial pilot license. Glory be to God, in that same month, the first shipment containing the material for the Roadmap Ministry International building project also arrived. In the month of September, after vigorous work, the much-anticipated state-of-the-art ablation facilities were finally finished and officially opened, operating at just a wave of a hand. 15 years of ministry. In that same month, on the 24th of September, we celebrated 
15 years since the establishment of the Lord's work through the hands of Apostle David Bonyane. Thank you, Jesus, for Roadmap Ministry International. In October, to fulfill the prophecy the man of God gave in January 2023, we saw the glory of God Almighty descending mightily at the Arena of Liberty, Roadmap Ministry International, where we witnessed the first ever pastors, businessmen and women leadership conference, a revival that spread throughout the whole world. Seeing what in the night? I started seeing uh, halos and colored rainbows on the light. On the and light. I have blurry vision. I, I can't survive on the light for too long. So where is your church? My church is in Limpopo, Jane Fest. Mm. Yes. Look at his reaction. The man of God did not even touch him. Continue to watch as reaction and reaction is happening. As the revival of the Lord is busy reviving everything that is dry in his life. Continue to watch his action. Down he goes. We have been enjoying the grace of the anointing water, healing waters for the past three years with numerous testimonies until this year when the big brother of the healing waters was released, the well of life. We spent almost a year with about eight to nine hundred women praying for you people before you come here for one year. God will instruct me that in that prayer you gather this eight nine hundred women. Every man we hit throughout. We are praying for churches, ministers of God, their wives, we are praying. It's an instruction from God. We wanted to see. While we are still on it, call them. How am I going to call them? I don't know them. Announce. Do you see how you came here? Oh, good morning, uh, church. Good morning, viewers. My name is Busisi Welu Pelwana. My name is Pastor Vuyo Masiba. My name is Mbaki Chigala. I come from Khabron, Botswana. And we're all the way from the Western Cape in Paul. We're coming from East London and we are business people. Uh, my name is Andy Shaw, I'm 47 and we've come from London in the UK. Good morning and Wednesday. My name is Rock Win. I come from China, Taiwan. Um, we're expecting our lives to be revived, our ministries to be revived. Well, I hope to be strengthened in my faith today and for revival, um, not only for my family, for our community and for our country. November. When we get close to nature, you are equally close to the God of nature. God's people began making their way to the Paradise Faith Retreat, a sanctuary for believers to commune with God Almighty. Without the man of God even being there, whatever that is not of God would vacate their lives as they vomited poisonous substances. December, the third biggest service of the year, the healing campaign. The healing virtue of the Lord came upon those who were stricken and smitten by all kinds of disease, bringing healing to them, body, soul, and spirit. Out, 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 out in the name of Jesus. Game. Man of God, please pray for me. I'm having a drop foot due to the fact that I fell in my house 
and three ligaments were torn. As healing is taking place in her life. Continue to watch how the servant of God is using his foot to minister. So you are free, you check yourself there. To you God be the Lord. So what happened after failing? My ligaments were torn. Your what? Ligaments. Your ligaments were torn. So I cannot walk properly. You can't walk properly. Yes, and then the doctor diagnosed me with the blood clot. Okay. Look at that. Just one tap and what is happening to her? Look at how she's shaking her left leg after that touch. She continues to shake and how her hands are shaking. God is now removing that knee brace. It is supposed to support her leg. See that she's standing up by herself without Thank any support. Jesus. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. We should see giving as a reason for a relationship, just as receiving is a reason for a relationship. Carrying the sentiment of these words, the David Bonyane Foundation went on their annual charity outreach where they visited the less privileged and sought to make their Christmas a memorable one. What a year it has been! Surely we have seen the glory of God descending in the year 2023. All we have to say is, Thank you, Jesus.